Dean, Dagenham and Redbridge 5, Barnet 4. I was watching England last night and quite frankly it put me to sleep. This afternoon was complete opposite. Appreciate we lost, but are you still proud of the performance and the fact that we got four goals today? I think attacking performance was excellent. Created numerous chances, scored four goals, but we can't defend kamikaze and individual errors have just cost us today really. Uh, I thought, like I said, our top performance was good. It was on the front foot. We started brilliantly. Um, got down the sides of them, their wing backs, who were wingers by trade. Uh, overload them in their areas, got crosses in the box. And um, yeah, we got in some great areas and managed to get a two goal lead. Just really disappointed at how we just spoke about it inside. After the second goal, they've gone and basically scored straight away. They've made an entry and scored straight away. So just naive from our point of view. And like I say, too many individual errors and have cost us today. Let's look at those opening uh, couple of goals. The first one, Nicky Kabamba, Sean Shields with an absolutely brilliant piece of play on the right wing. Looked from my point of view, it was going out and he managed to get across uh, in. What do you make of Sean's opening 25 minutes in his performance today? Yeah, look, defensively he's got to do better for the team. He's got to shut down the flank. Yet the cross is good, we know what he can do with the ball. Um, you know, it's without the ball, he's got to do a little bit better down that side. Like they're, they're, um, Their first goal comes down his side. Um, so he's got to do better. We, we, we spoke about shutting down the flanks and stopping players like Weston and Amaro Vilhete. So uh, we just didn't do that well enough today. So there's both sides of the game. And I've always said clean sheets bring you success. And uh, I'm, I'm good. The players are good. We're all good. We're absolutely good. I'll be honest. We're shattered. We're good. Uh, we're devastated. And um, we've just had a long debate in there. That's why it's took a bit of time to come out and see you. No screaming and shouting. Just honest. Um, we've got enough senior players to be able to see our game there today. I know they've got a really good top, uh, front line in, in McCallum and uh, and the kid Walker, to be fair. We wouldn't mind a player like him still at our football club, but that is what it is. So it brings you that pace that they can't really defend. So, um, But look, from our point of view, you just can't uh, get yourself in the position we did on several occasions and, uh, and, and dominate the game as well as we did on certain occasions of the game. I know they were on top when they got back to 2-2. The lad scored obviously a Waldy, a great goal, but we missed a tackle in midfield again. Ryan's missed a tackle. Um, and realistically, Ryan today, who gets a lot of plaudits, has cost us two goals. He missed a tackle in midfield, Maros put him top again, and then he's obviously he's made a decision to go and race the lad and, and not done his job properly. So, you know, and then Danny at the end, Danny Collins at the end, you know, Walker gets in off the back of him from a straight goal kick. It's just poor defending. So they get a lot of accolades, and that's that's what it is. I'm not out here to slaughter them, they've made individual errors. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, that's part of the business. Where the players go on from here, are they able to take that on the chin and actually move on from here? We have to, you know, just got to move on to the next game. We've played 10 games now, I think we've got 14 points. We scored a lot of goals um, and we need to defend better. Um, you know, we need a little bit more sort of consistency in our defending. Uh, and defending from the front, that is. Um, not just the, the back line, it's from the front and just uncharacteristic mistakes really today from us. Um, I know they have got good players in the front line, like I said, but just, just sloppy. I thought our level of performance was good, but our individual errors are absolutely more. We've, we've killed ourselves really today. I agree. We said last week, we, sp we stood here speaking last week and said that working on the training ground on taking our chances because we were creating a lot of chances before today and we weren't necessarily taking them I think one thing positive you can take it is our, our performance front of goal especially Nicky uh, scoring those two headers what did you make of him specifically today? Well, both goals and he had two great chances as well when it was four all he missed two glorious opportunities both goals are coming from seeing defenders numbers and, and pulling on, on their on their shoulders so and then he's like I say he's seen the defender's number for his second goal and darted across the front he was a constant threat to be fair to him he walked their back line really well and uh, I'm delighted for him with the goals but it's no consolation when you don't pick up the points but for him individually yeah it's a really good performance for sure where do we go from here we've got um, York City at home next Saturday a week away you're gonna have a couple of days off and how are you gonna prepare specifically from today no days off um, probably watch the game back actually this evening, well I will watch the game back this evening and then uh, start preparing for York straight away really, we'll debrief the game with the players on Monday um, but you know, we just can't let that happen to us again, you know, for the level of performance we put in going forward and even some of our pressing at times was excellent we just can't have them individual errors, whether we're not focused, whether the change in the week was like that last week, I was chatting to Mac at half time, their manager is a personal friend of mine we were both, like, both of us haven't defended well enough so 
we're both probably going to be walking on defensive walk next week. So, um, but it's a busy schedule. I think we've now got uh, that was the start of nine games in six weeks. So this division's relentless, and there's no easy games. Um, so look, we have to uh, lick our wounds today, and we've got to uh, just move on to the next game and uh, start preparing for what's going to be three games in seven days from next Saturday. Supporters obviously disappointed last minute. Um, yeah, goal against you is never easy to swallow. That said, they were brilliant throughout this afternoon. Yeah, unbelievable. We gave them a lot to sing about at times. Uh, they got right behind us. Um, it's a kick in the teeth for everyone. Like I say, it's absolute killer what's happened to us. So frustrating. Um, but they kept with us. They clapped us off at the end. They can see the players are giving their all, and that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, look, listen, we'll just keep sticking together and keep driving each other forward. And they've done that today for us. So uh, hopefully we can repay them with three points next week. Dean, I really appreciate your honest assessment. Cheers.